Hey everyone, it is junk journal time. Today it is one file folder, eight ways. So I am going to show you how to do this today to take this one simple manila file folder and make eight different things for your junk journal out of it. And if you are careful, you can make even more. But today we're just going to head for eight. And I've also taken a page out of an old atlas that I might use to cover the um, manila folder as we work forward. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut here. Uh, a manila file folder is about 11 and 5 eighths by 9 inches this way, including a tab. It's a little bit less if, if the folder doesn't have a tab on it. But we want to use so many of the different things in here that I can't wait to get started. So it's easier for me, what I have found, it's easier to make a cut this way first across the file folder than it is to cut it this way. We will be eventually cutting it this way also, but it's just a little bit easier to do that. Trust me. <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is cut this out. This is going to be a little pocket right here. Let me get where I can get everything straight. So I want to leave just a little bit of edge right on that. I don't want to get, I want to be able to see both of those swirly places there. So let me go ahead and cut that. All right, we'll put that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut on this side. Got a little bit of room today. So that's going to make three and a half inches there. I think that's pretty good. So now you have the three pieces. So you could actually keep this as one big pocket if you'd want to just close up the sides and do that. But I don't want to do that. I want to make this a pocket, and this is going to be used for something else, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a few seconds. So I'm just going to come in, and you can make this really any width that you want. So since it's nine inches, I think I'm going to go for four on this spot. So that should give us enough, that should give us about five that way. Maybe I'll go a little bit less. Maybe I'll go about three and a half on this one. Give us a nice deep pocket up here. So there's our nice deep pocket on this one. I just love that. That's going to really look good in any of our junk journals and books. And this part can be done several ways. This can end up as just a little insert book in one of your pockets. That would be, pl there's plenty of room to make that. Or you can close up the sides and punch a hole there and make this a pocket. So there's lots of options for you. So I'm going to take this one and my particular file folder, there is this little um, offset area right there, which I really like. So I am going to I'm make this a smaller pocket. But I really think that's cool. So that is, that's three. <laughs> and we're going to cut this one and that is going to make six so I think I'm going to go a little bit smaller this way and just make that about three and a half inches and make a deep pocket 
So that's six. We've got our we've got six pieces here. That can be six different pockets, six different, three different pockets, and three little booklets. Or it can be something else, which I'm going to show you right now, which is one of my favorite things to do with this. And let me see which ones I want to do it with. I think I'll do it here. And let me move this out of the way. And let me get my glass plate up here. And what I'm going to do with this one. Okay, there's a little bit of bend on that one, so I'm going to cut this one. What I'm going to do is just come in here and eyeball. I really don't have any preconceived notions about what I want to cut. Let me see if I can get my cutter out of my box. Sometimes that's the hardest part, is getting that out. Okay, and just do this two or three times until it actually all cuts off. Don't press too hard. Let the knife do the work, not your hands or arms. So now we have seven different things. Gosh, I don't know whether you can hear that, but that's a train in the background. So that's that piece. And we are going to do that I'll leave that a booklet, so I don't want to cut that off. Don't want to cut that off. But I am probably going to do this one. This one looks like it's already designed to be cut. So let me just come in here and make a little cut on it. And this is really all about feel. It's not, whoops, don't cut yourself on camera, Rebecca. It's all about just getting yourself some, I think I need to change the blade here. All right, that's good. So, let me show you what I mean by all of these. Let me get this old book out that I have used for my demo. So with this, you can put this in here like this, and that makes a pocket. So we have two of these, which we can use to make a pocket. So that's two different pieces. We can goodness sorry guys that's another pocket right there so that is two three this is going to be a little booklet booklet or it can be a pocket so that's four pieces this can be a booklet or a pocket this way that's five this is going to be a pocket that we're going to probably fold this flap down on. We're going to put some nice papers on it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. This is another pocket. If you can see that, that's seven. And this is our major pocket that I really, really love. I love, love, love that one. So let me get these. And you can see how cool that is going to be as a pocket, right? And all you need to do is you can cover the front if you want before you put the pocket together. All you need to do is run a little tape or glue around the three edges to close up that pocket. 
You can paint it. You can stamp on it. You can collage on it. You can do all kinds of different ideas and things on these as you move forward. But I am so excited about this. And let me show you one other thing that we can do is to come in here with this one. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Sorry, since we're going today, that makes a little library pocket. And that's a little bit off-center, so I will have to straighten that up. Should have measured first, but I wanted to show you that. This, like I said, is going to remain a booklet. I think I'm just going to put... Uh, a little one signature booklet in that's going to be able to fit down in my big pocket just like that. I think that'll work. And let me see, another thing we can do with this is come in and straighten this up. And snip that off. And kind of make, whoops, that's way wonky, Rebecca. <laughs> and of course, that's because it has this. So I'm going to have to come a little bit deeper on this side. And a little bit deeper on this side. It's fun to just play and create. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Let me come in here one more time and try it. Gosh darn it. There we go. A little bit better. And you could actually do all four corners and make it look like tickets. We could make big tickets here. But I think this, like I said, this is going to turn down... kind of a cool little flip pocket and you can see how cool that is but I love these things and again uh, I'm probably going to cut up some of my little map pages and put on these and I will show you these in the photos after this ends, I will make some photos to show at the end of this. So anyway, this is our folder day on our daily creative practice of 20 minutes a day, getting into your creative space and just playing and having fun. So everybody has an old manila folder laying around that you can just borrow to make eight different things for your junk journal. Eight different pockets and booklets and hiding places, tuck spots, all kinds of things you can make out of a manila folder. So anyway, have a great day and get into your contagious creativity and pass it on and may joy be with you all.